Hey guys, good morning. Uh, we have a new friend Satya joining us today. Uh, Satyadev uh, is a co-founder of uh, Aristis. Uh, this is an organization which uh, basically focuses on uh, you know teaching Abacus and uh, Vedic math to the students. Uh, I don't think so. There is any age limit. You know, anybody can avail it. I've seen, you know, small kids, uh, you know, learning a backers. You know, uh, surprised me with uh, their skills. Uh, you know, few of them I've met, and uh, we also have elderly people who are uh, learning now because they want to teach others. Uh, you know, so the age is not a limit. And uh, let's hear from Satya as to how Satya and uh, his wife. Uh, she is the founder of this particular organization, and Satya is also involved in this particular thing. How did they, you know, where are they from, you know, how did they start this particular initiative of, you know, this awesome initiative where, which makes math easy because uh, I, I was good at math <laughs> to a certain class after that, you know, it, it, it was like a monster always in my head. So let's see how they're uh, making math easy. So over to you, Satya. Yeah. Good morning to everybody. Thanks, Ravi, for this opportunity. This is always nice to connect with people and uh, you know try and share what you are into and what is it going how is it going to help people around us in the society and uh, yeah uh, this is as you said founded by my wife sri parimala uh, she has been a mathematics teacher all through so out of her passion she joined as a teacher under one abacus company and then subsequently felt she could uh, possibly be able to do a lot more than what she was doing as a teacher alone she started uh, building the content for uh, Abacus and uh, subsequently Vedic Mathematics also. And it started as a very, very small affair. Okay. Uh, and it's uh, for probably more than what we thought it was running as an organic organization only. It was very, very steady growth and only known people connecting with us and you know becoming teachers under our umbrella. And it was very steady. But about a year or about two years back, we realized that it's not going to be organic anymore. It's now... Uh, See, the, the testimony is when you get an inbound inquiry from somebody asking for uh, uh, details on how to become a teacher and all is when you feel, yes, uh, yeah, the, the, <laughs> uh, it's it's ripe, hot enough to start, you know, hitting. So that's how we started our journey. And uh, uh, what was uh, conceived as an abacus company has subsequently become a, an abacus and Vedic mathematics company also is because we felt that there is a lot more as a continuation to the children because abacus we we catch hold of uh, children at a very early age about mm. four years plus and then it stops by about 10 it used to stop by about 12 14 years earlier on but now today's uh, intelligence and all that the opportunities people have um, we, they uh, they complete abacus by about 10 12 years maximum so we we wanted to build something more uh, as a continuation and nothing better than vedic mathematics very comprehensive as far as you know ensuring mathematics is made easy you know the accuracy and the speeds are achieved as nobody's guess uh, is what is all embedded in one product called vedic mathematics so that's how our journey has started and i'm happy that a lot of uh, young generation parents uh, are coming forward and you know joining students and also coming back to us and uh, 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 also coming back to us and um, uh, saying that uh, they are happy for the evening engagement the the kids are having with us and um, so it's all it's all been uh, a good good journey all through super so uh, i i i've seen you know uh, abacus i have not heard about i mean i've heard about vedic maths but i don't know what it involves and what was yeah, our vedic Vedic, I mean, yeah. in terms of uh, Vedic maths, it does determine with the word saying that it's from our Puranas uh, and all that. Yes. But maybe people Adhara, like me Veda, who are Veda, not really Veda. aware of it, uh, maybe you can, you know, talk a bit about Vedic maths. I, I, I can, I can attempt uh, a, a brief introduction of Vedic mathematics. It's, it's always been there from our uh, ancient uh, scripts, but unfortunately, a lot of uh, that was lost until. Uh, uh, Bharati Tirda Swamiji has brought that into light and uh, no, he, he should be our guru forever simply because he's got that all back and primarily it runs on 16 sutras and uh, um, it, it makes it so easy uh, uh, for the students to understand, you know, in the, trad in the conventional, in the academic uh, pursuit, a, a particular textbook has a uh, has a style of you know, teaching mathematics, but here it defies that in a way that 
it complements also in a way that uh, there is a problem uh, for everybody but mm-hmm. the solution is achieved by every individual student in a very unique fashion uh, there is there is no one uh, script to. for uh, getting to the answer one could take three steps or uh, the other could take only one step it is all how he is able to apply those sutras that he has learned and uh, it is a bit of practice it's a bit of iq and a, a combination of a lot of things definitely practice has its own contribution to somebody's speed and accuracy but the journey is made very very easy because of these sutras which make it extremely easy for a student to understand where to catch uh, the solution and how quickly he can and uh, one major advantage is the accuracy which is by and large assured he can't go wrong when he applies a sutra it's not about forgetting the steps four steps five steps if you make all five steps you get 10 on 10 if you miss one step and still get the answer you get only eight it's not about marks it's about skilling the mind no okay. and it, it spreads to the other subjects also it doesn't stay with mathematics alone the same uh, competences because there is a realignment in the brain which is continuously happening which becomes applicable to all the other subjects he plays his hands on so how how good were you and your wife in math when you know were you, was it tough for you and then you decided you know let's find a solution or you know you found uh, math very easy during your you know school and college days that you found that okay let's help uh, other people who are finding it tough so what was the situation uh, i have been all through a corporate employee for almost 25 years from my college after i finished my engineering so i never knew anything about education except that you know i graduated from usmania university in mechanical engineering and that's about it and after sub- subsequently i might have done a few other courses i am also an alumni of iim ahmedabad uh, but uh, maths has never been anything fancy for me anything great at the same time i never feared as much uh, it, it never scared me i got my marks but that's about it fortunately my wife uh, is a hardcore mathematician so that's how she built her uh, career on mathematics Uh, starting from abacus and then uh, vedic mathematics uh, i don't i don't teach mathematics i can attempt but i have decided i will only preach vedic mathematics i don't preach mathematics i preach vedic mathematics yeah. among young parents schools educational institutions and also um, entrepreneurs who can take this as an opportunity to uh, do a full time or a part time uh, income generation yeah we have uh, compliments coming in from uh, shruti avashrala uh, she is saying proud to be part of uh, heritage's uh, family she is one of our youngest teachers on board oh wow so my nice, shruti uh, and uh, she also says math i mean marks are just a number so absolutely yeah, I think, yeah yes. i think we all agree to that what you carry here and not on the mark sheet <laughs> yeah that's important so tell uh, you know how how is this uh, evolving now you know during pandemic uh, you know our kids are able to i mean can can kids who are idle i mean there are a lot of parents out there who want to <clears throat> make their kids i mean they are already glued to online classes i know but you know the same school teachers doing it and again it's boring but how do you make it interesting and can they do this online can they learn this online see when uh, when the pandemic hit us in the month of march that's about the time we took a new office shifted we had great aspirations we made it very uh, easy for people to commute and reach our place and we were just about the time we were also talking about big number of volunteers to be picked from the underprivileged section so that they can be made as vedic mathematics teachers and be you know uh, keep them ready mm. uh, for the Uh, for the launch of vedic mathematics in many of the schools in the summer camps so that was the beginning and uh, it it crashed almost overnight uh, w- within about a weeks time that we took a new office and shifted uh, no we we managed to shift only in the month of may so it was vacant that was being paid for and uh, we never had anything to do with the new office nor did we have anything for, uh, at the old office also because we were not allowed to go out having said that for a month we did not know what was happening uh, it was like a plane crash then later we realized that lot of uh, things were you know catching up digital marketing was happening and many many people have come forward very bravely and started an alternative route to achieving their realizing their goals so we said why not we think about uh, online and we started testing it before we told our teachers to go online we said let us do the r and d with some some students picked a few 
first timers and a few who are seniors already about 3 4 uh, levels of uh, abacus what happens is they need to use the abacus something like this you know they, they move the beads and uh, the teacher has to be very conscious about their uh, bead movement only then she'll be able to correct and say this is this is how you do this is how you don't do and all that so when when by then the classes have started in the schools and you know slowly the kids have got used to the camera and the online teaching and all but they have also started getting to know the tricks of the trade they sometimes close the camera etc but um, uh, on a, on a broader note we said yes it's absolutely doable only thing is i cannot address a mass of 8 or 10 students in the classroom which i do offline in a in a in a room like this where i sit I can easily handle about 10, 12 students if it is abacus. Vedic mathematics can be any number. There is absolutely the higher the number, the better it is for students and also the teacher. That's a different ball game altogether. Coming to abacus, once we said yes, this is doable. One, then two, maximum three kids if the teacher is senior enough, and not beyond because it's it's very difficult online to you know keep a track of how it is. And th this is on the regular run of uh, my business and uh, my teacher's business because my B2B is largely my teachers. Sure. My B2C is only for my R&D as to how parents come approach, what they talk, what their queries are. Will he become something uh, like a scientist if he does these kind of questions too? How is it going to help as a name question? It could be anything. That is the br uh, broad spectrum that uh, uh, the qu questions come from. So uh, when when we were handling uh, this initially, it was only teachers and uh, little bit of. But thanks to COVID, that we were forced to think beyond, maybe out of the box as you call it. And then we said, now why not we start something uh, which is a web app? Mm. Uh, then we started working on Vedic Mathematics Junior One and Junior Two because that is exactly the gap in the value chain I have as from a right is is after about fifth standard. The kids have to wait until the seventh standard to get back to Arites as a brand mm. uh, because there is a gap and Vedic mathematics starts only from seventh, seventh standard onwards. Sixth also, but safe bet is seventh standard so that people will definitely be aligned and they will not have any cribs about uh, gaps in understanding, etc. However, we, we came up with an idea of having a junior one, junior two in Vedic mathematics. It's it's very close to what level one in the uh, standard uh, Vedic mathematics levels we we have, but it's like a tricycle, you know, for the child to mentally make him comfortable. He doesn't fall and he enjoys the ride. So um, this is what is now going to be launched in the market as web app. And now, of course, we are coming up with a hybrid app which will have web tab and um, uh, mobile also in the in the app. This is the the first one, and the second one is. You know the awareness camps through webinars or maybe five day whatsapp groups etc is just about commencing from uh, next week onwards because we are on the process of making some faqs made very uh, very interesting for parents school uh, organizers management or different uh, categories of people seeking vedic mathematics i have categorized and uh, so all in all the pandemic yes five six months of leisure but five, six months of intensive research on alternative uh, ways and means of reaching out. But now with this web app coming, we are no longer a local company. We are no longer a pan-India company. We are a global community now. Super. We started in this process. We have started connecting with uh, America and European markets. Uh, uh, largely parents. Largely par I am encouraging both mother and father to be a part of this uh, wonderful program called spreading the abundance of Vedic mathematics, as we call it uh, fondly. Super. So, uh, that's a good idea. As this spreads. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea because parents, you know, it, it's just not about keeping your kid in a room and then, you know, ask them to learn. But if the parents are also involved, they will know what they, what is the value and what what is what exactly is the kid learning. Absolutely. That's yes. a good point. So, uh, if the parents have yep. to decide which kid should opt for Vedic mathematics or, you know, Abacus, you know, there are a lot of questions. Should my, should I, you know, my kid is doing okay in math. His marks are just okay. We are fine with it. Uh, he's scoring very low in math. So which, which category of kid a parent should recommend to? Yeah. Uh, yes. Good question. Uh, any parent who is uh, who's got a kid who's 
more than four plus years is predominantly abacus only i'm talking only my services and products i'm not going beyond though we associate with a lot of other uh, uh, associate products like robotics life skills language etc but i am con confining uh, this answer to um, mathematics and uh, uh, what kind of people all uh, across the board any child who is four plus must know what is abacus it's because it's about right brain activation have, whether we like it or not a human being is born with left brain active it, nature must have its own reasons to make us uh, you know left brain active when we are born however no matter how rich we are, how much we can afford, we cannot purchase right brain for the child. It's not an injection which I can give her. It's not a medicine which I can, as a pill, give it. No, he has to skill it up and there is a time limit. He, at my age, I can't be skilling my right brain. I can only know what abacus is and what goodness it can offer to children. I cannot develop any further on my right brain. Okay. And once that starts at an early age, the brain alignment, this is all about lateralization of brain and... Uh, uh, there's a lot of theories available, but in short, abacus is all about right brain activation, accuracy and speed. And uh, it is not about a child liking mathematics or not, whether he's scared or not, or he's, he's a family of doctors and he's uh, invariably going to be a doctor. No, he, it could be anything in his career. Abacus will definitely have its contribution to the child especially in the formative years. Good. So basic mathematics cannot be given from uh, uh, from uh, up to about 10 plus years. Uh, you, you, the child has to be 10 plus or um, I personally believe it is 12 years and there is no upper limit. There are grandparents who are learning today from us and they're, they're, they're trying to teach their grandchildren by learning from us. Wow. I mean, that is the bandwidth we have uh, as far as uh, our... Um, Senior most teacher is uh, Mrs. Satyavati Garu. She is about 67 years and the passion she carries, um, uh, some of the teachers may have to struggle to reach uh, reach that stage. Uh, that, that's the kind of passion she has, the energy and the, uh, uh, the, uh, the commitment she has for completing levels for children is absolutely awesome. Super. So Vedic mathematics has a different, it's, it's more about calculations and the speed, accuracy, things like that. And all these contribute to the child in terms of creativity, inquisitiveness, memory, attention span, all these attributes. You know, you think of a hundred positive attributes, they're all there some way or the other, directly or indirectly coming from these subjects. Yeah. So uh, tell me one thing, Satya. You know, there, there are a lot of, uh, you know, people out there, especially women and men who are looking for some additional income or uh, they want to switch to the, their career to something else or start something new because they're jobless, they've lost jobs uh, during the pandemic. Uh, and for various situations, there are a lot of housewives who want to, you know, start contributing because, you know, um, the, there are ups and downs in the financial situation right now. It is almost becoming necessary for a middle class person to start earning, both the hands start earning instead of just one hand supporting the family. So with all this mind in mind, if, you know, there are parents, there are women, housewives, etc., who want to learn this, they, they've not done their education in teaching, like B.Ed. or something. But they can, can they learn, uh, you know, either Abacus or Vedic Math and start contributing where they can, you know, uh, start creating a living, genuine living. Because I, I see a lot of, uh, you know, do this work from home, do that. And a lot of, you know, uh, fake stuff going on on the Internet. Uh, uh, is there a genuine platform for people like this where they can learn? And teach people, teach kids, and genuinely earn a reasonable amount of income because you know I think this can be done from home right now and then later. Oh yes, oh yes. The, see, the answer is simple. The, uh, with no doubt whatsoever, any parent, you know, most of the uh, homemakers are forced homemakers today because they are equally educated. They are sacrificing either for the children to raise the children at their uh, small age or to take care of their uh, parents at home etc but it's not that they're unemployable or they're uh, any less educated they are uh, equally competent in terms of their educational qualification some of them have had their small little stint of about three four years and then they have the children and then they completely uh, take a new shift in their uh, lifestyle 
they concentrate in parenting however any parent whichever uh, background be uh, educationally absolutely no issues because there is no rocket science in this it's not about it's not as much about mathematics as it is um, about skilling the child in various uh, um, mental attributes so it becomes very easy for a, it, to, to tell you uh, on a timeline a child takes to complete one level about 15 to 16 sessions of say about 50 to 60 minutes each the teacher will learn it in 4 hours the same level once one complete book of say about 64 70 pages she completes it uh, having said that she will never be able to attain the speeds that the kids I uh, get you know so many videos we get to see that uh, before you complete your uh, uh, keying in the, uh, uh, the ca- calculator that the answer and right answer at that has come out already from the child so that that speed but the teachers are more uh, um, uh, groomed uh, in observing the child whether uh, the child is more a speed oriented child or a or an accuracy oriented child and then bring the balance uh, bring them together and then raise the bar slowly that's how the teachers are uh, you know groomed so they take their and we insist on completing one level of uh, uh, teaching before they come for their second level uh, uh, training mm. so coming back to your uh, question of uh, who should and who should not any parent in fact whenever there is an enquiry for a child to be jo- uh, admitted with us as uh, for a first level or second whatever level uh, that uh, she may she or he may um, qualify for we look at the parents first probably the mother more closely and see if she is capable of you know teaching the child herself because that's a great opportunity for a mother not just getting the homeworks done but there's some systematically developed program which is a skill development program which which is unlike an amusement game it's not a jigsaw puzzle where you, your child gets tired in two or three attempts he does it and he says i've done that been there so that's not there it, it is scalable it has excitement on an every page every problem first to second to third to fourth like that so there is enough excitement built over all the levels that we have uh, so uh, nor is it something like another amusement i can take an example of his magic show Uh, as long as the child is watching uh, somebody performing he is amused and after that he will not be able to perform it this program is not not for amusement at all this is for serious skill development and we talk of two sessions per week only 50 to that's 60 minutes a session that's about it super good one so uh, anybody out there who wants to get into the passion of teaching and you know want to learn and then you know start teaching kids out there i think this is very good uh, and you know especially vedic math i think you know it is also our responsibility to keep this live uh, so yeah anybody is interested feel free to connect with satya uh, so satya we also have some uh, compliments rolling in archana raipalli says good morning sir uh, uh, varshini is uh, saying uh, you know is complimenting and uh, minakshi alamuri is saying i thought a back is uh, in the summer and it was an enriching experience so yeah we have uh, you know some testimonials also as to you know people who have learned and you know taught apacus nice. you know have a uh, good experience so anything else you want to mention uh, satya before we get into rapid fire questions because we also know, want to know you well with these rapid fire questions oh yes why not yeah why not uh, i will uh, before we get there i'll probably try and uh, summarize see our effort is uh, it's a commercial run we we do appreciate it is going because that's how i can uh, scale it up uh, with, without a commercial um, angle to it i'll not be able to expand having said that our uh, primary objective is awareness awareness among because a lot of options are available i talk to the american uh, contingent and they they quickly compare it with uh, chinese mathematics is all all are good it's all about awareness so why why i am saying chinese uh, they say they talk about chinese is they were able to do the awareness enough there that uh, an nri who is connecting with me is very quick to compare me or vedic mathematics with uh, chinese mathematics and and say how is it different you know so i am talking about awareness which also tells me that the awareness is not adequate uh, maybe because of the um, options available or one too many options for the child one too many distractions uh, so 
my primary objective my personal uh, objective in the company my wife may have her own objective because she is uh, heading the academics and she also trains she has an academic team of teachers who take care of teaching uh, schools and things like that uh, when it comes to my personal uh, objective it is awareness which will bring in and there is nothing called competition in this world uh, after all how many people am i going to reach uh, end of my life it's impossible to touch the whole world uh, see each time i see a new brand or uh, any brand which is already existing we are only there to complement each other and expand the abundance of say vedic mathematics or goodness of abacus so i i urge all people to connect with us and know a lot and lot more about what is this how is it going to be useful for the children why should parents be as as keen to get them through these subjects of uh, you know skill development beyond academics as we as we rightly called you also rightly titled as as uh, academic uh, skills beyond academics is because there is a new set of peer group there is a different environment which is created for the children predominantly non screen activity there is bhaiya didi lot of uh, different you know heterogeneous composition sitting in a classroom here and they drops on each other and it's all positive energy there they they're not talking any gossip they're concentrating on and because it's all about speed and accuracy they also get inspired from each other so this awareness created more than half the job is done getting more and more certificates done around the world is a much easier task than you know getting people to know about the goodness of uh, our own uh, products of course vedic mathematics is more our own uh, abacus might have come from asian countries but still uh, it is it is one of the most uh, um, sought after uh, skill development program evening engagement after school activity you, you name it anything uh, it goes into day care it goes into uh, post school activities it goes into tuition centers it goes into houses where uh, the homemakers are passionate about teaching children children teaching their own children to start with and then expand it uh, in their community and they get a lot of blessings from the parents is because they all come and say after completing one or two levels of abacus they say now we are seeing my child sitting in one place more mm. calm and composed yeah, all these things this compliments you know inspire motivate our teachers and we feel happy about spreading this among uh, people academics are always there for the taking you join your child in a school they are they are duty bound to complete the academics there's a lot of things just like the way we don't like our child to miss out on a bicycle in the childhood a pizza in the childhood like that these are as important and maybe sometimes uh, we can argue these are more important than the others true so we have uh, compliments from uh, sahdev uh, Uh, he is saying uh, i was very apprehensive in the beginning uh, about teaching vedic math but not anymore i am uh, pleasantly surprised by the way the children are able to pick up the subject so easily so oh, yes. this is from i think uh, shobha uh, komaragiri oh yeah from the account of sahadev <laughs> so yeah okay, okay. yeah so let, let's uh, switch on to uh, the rapid fire questions uh, sathadev uh, oh yes so you know the first question you know since we are talking about math what what's your favorite number and why nine and why <laughs> i really don't know but i like nine okay just just because everybody you know has nine in their uh, you know vehicle number and all that that's suspicious that that's the reason yeah, or no, it's is it the if i have no, if i have pick uh, pick the uh, uh, pick a single digit then that's the biggest number so okay. nine good so yeah the, your next question you know what what are you really obsessed about apart from vedic math apart from abacus satya as a person what are you really obsessed about um self realization i don't know maybe this is the path that uh, god has given me to reach out to people and and see how how many people i can make happy uh, uh, through my uh, words and deeds mm-hmm. so this is my obsession we were never before probably 10 years back i would have said maybe my promotion or maybe my package or something else in the corporate life but not anymore yeah. i am not there uh, at all now so when the pandemic happened and you know we we've all learned something we all learned the value of life what is the most valuable thing that you have attained or did for yourself when you look back in your life you felt the importance of it 
any other question probably i wouldn't have been so happy um, because i tell you for about close to 30 years after my engineering that i was thinking i am a salesman and i have been into sales marketing all hardcore engineering office automation industrial automation and all that stuff when uh, this occurred pandemic occurred is when we thought of going online and until then i never uh, actually needed to look at digital marketing at all and this came as a surprise that i didn't know abc's of digital marketing so i really put a lot of hard work to understand what digital marketing is all about i i might have picked about 20 mentors <laughs> over last 20 i, I mean uh, about 30 40 weeks uh, and i have uh, zeroed in on one or two of them and i am learning a great deal of digital marketing and fortunately i've been for about 5 years now i've been mentoring uh, uh, mba students uh, for their internship, uh, summer internship programs. So um, that also gives me a lot of uh, uh, energy to learn from them. I may, I may be, you know, actually talking to the management in their, those colleges as, as a mentor, but I end up learning a lot as to what is happening in the current stage. I get to hear from people that they want to be only entrepreneurs, only uh, start with a startup not join an organization, though I tell them to join for a couple of years and understand what a corporate um, atmosphere is all about. But they're very, very keen and some of them are very successful at that. It's not that you know, I have to impose that they have to work somewhere. Some people go um, all out to start something and they, they achieve a great deal of success. But I ensure having known, having seen these you know, forming of trust, I have a family trust. I, I have a private limited company. What are the challenges? How do you now, all those things generally the youngsters may miss out on. So I try and educate them and see that they don't make any mistakes, which may become very expensive um, yeah. later on. So this is my uh, uh, passion with all these people when when I go to colleges and get more and more of these interns. Current batch is the first ever batch, which is doing a, a virtual uh, internship they are completely on a digital internship program with me mm -hmm. from a business school because they don't they can't go out into the market and that's really meant a lot for me uh, from now on i can re really accelerate with, with this platform made available super so tell us about your brand you know who chose the name what, what is the you know uh, meaning behind the name uh, who decided you and your wife were like you know founders of this particular company who dominated in finalizing this particular name? <laughs> so. Fortunately, I don't have pressure in this area from my wife. <laughs> I might have uh, pressures from some other areas, but when it comes to running this organization, it's my say by and large, okay. because I try to wear that uh, ex-corporate cap still when it comes to deciding on things, deciding on a supplier. Uh, I'm very qualitatively oriented, thanks to my organizations where I worked. Uh, very system uh, driven, very process oriented. Uh, so it, it comes in uh, in every uh, everything I, I pick, whether it is a supplier or a service provider or whatever material I use. I've been to a lot of schools in the beginning to promote my brand and uh, they said, why should they, the book be so expensive? Why should it be multicolor and things like that? And I said, this is, uh, this is out of my ideology. I don't want to compromise just because you want to buy more if I reduce the quality, that's that's never been uh, my case. So uh, the brand uh, Aritis is something which is which originates from her birth star, which is Bharani. It is the constellation of birth star Bharani is Aritis. Oh. I wanted to have an English name, simple, just to have it more globally acceptable. So, but dedicated to uh, her name. Uh, by and large, yeah. And, and then I went to our uh, one spiritual guru, mentor, uh, Mr. Vishwapati Garu. I went to him uh, and asked for a logo to be designed and uh, he gave a few options. Uh, he, he applies the Vedic uh, uh, angle of uh, designing. Vedic logos, he calls it. He, ha he has a color for every business. He has a color for every business owner, a combination of them or whatever. And it's been working. So subsequently, the other three footings I have made after Arite is Alamuri Foundation, and that's a family trust. Uh, now it's a public uh, charitable trust. And then I have uh, 
uh, Ameya Technosol uh, Private Limited. And then I also have Virinci Vidya Mandir, which I have created as two partners in it, me and my wife, for running a pre preschool for about three years in a upmarket in Hyderabad. But then I realized it's my brand, which is enough to trumpet and you know keep going instead of. But that gave us a great deal of uh, opportunity to connect with schools and what happened, what goes on there, what are their challenges and things like that. So, Arite is all about um, her uh, what you call birth star and that's been there and uh, right from day one i've been very keen on getting the trademark done and now it's trademark registered for about 16 uh, 6 6 plus years 7 plus years um on on the regulatory front and on, on all these friends we've been pretty okay. pretty good so whenever we have this uh, sudden uh, um, spurt of going inorganic in our growth we are ground is prepared we can we can take the uh, take off comfortably you you just got saved, uh, Satya, after you know mentioning about you know the reason for you know this particular name because the first comment you made, your wife reacted immediately. So <laughs> so you okay. you you are in safe hands. But yeah, anything guys, uh, anything happens after the show, uh, you know, work TV or Ravi is not responsible. <laughs> responsible. <laughs> no, I'm safe. That way, I'm safe. That's how we are able to manage this. Otherwise, you know. Sit, being with her and promoting this company wouldn't have been so easy. I can't be smiling like this. Yeah, true. So, yeah, you both complement each other very well. I can see that with uh, the pictures. So, who who was your oldest friend, uh, whom you're still in touch with, and what what uh, does uh, he brings in you? Um, Mr. Sharma, uh, I kept hearing about him through one of my close friends, was also my colleague when I was with Xerox in Hyderabad. I never met him and uh, fortunately or unfortunately, I do not know, I met that gentleman who's about 10, 15 um, clear years uh, elder to me. Uh, he came uh, to the hospital where my mother was announced dead. He came, that's when we met each other for the first time. We, we might have spoken to each other over telephone and um, I, I have a lot of respect for him for the kind of giver he is, mm. the way he gives it around. He helps me. Uh, so I have a very high regard for him. He's, he's, I mean, there may be a lot of elderly people who are good friends of mine. He came to my mind because you said uh, with whom I'm in touch with. And he comes to my mind quickly because I, I learned a lot from him. Why should you be a giver? in, And leave this planet as a giver and not as a taker is when you are actually doing your job well-rounded is what is my take of life. Yeah. Can, can you quickly remember five math teachers you had in your life from schooling till college? It's it's easier for me to go backwards. Yeah. Uh, it's simply because it's easier. You know, the memory serves better when I'm talking. Um, T. K. V. Raghavan, okay. uh, who's uh, eventually gone into uh, spirituality and is now he, he does a lot of discourses on television and uh, places of uh, worship. Uh, he was our math uh, teacher in uh, mechanical engineering, so I I have a great regard for him. For he is such an extempore. He could he could handle it, me and my friend. Uh, two of us were uh, responsible for getting a CEO of a, um, of a tiles manufacturing company from Bongir, and we got terribly delayed to get him on on the stage. And this was the gentleman who kept the entire audience engaged for more than any uh, an hour. And then I have one. Uh, Vijay Kumar sir, who is my maths teacher in the school, and uh, beyond that, I will be embarrassed. Uh, only two names I am able to. Okay, uh, two recent ones, good one. So uh, we're running short of time, but uh, yeah, the final question, you know, uh, if you become the chief minister for the entire tenure with your experience, with your corporate experience, sales experience, with the experience where you and your wife as a family are trying to build education, uh, take forward the tradition of Vedic math. So what would you do? What are the positive reforms you would focus on if you become the chief minister? I I take this uh, question as a, uh, in two two different options. So one, one can be an easy answer of, you know, um, ranting a few quick uh, answers like the way it happens in an essay writing or a, in an elocution competition. But uh, the answer is beyond that, I feel personally, because See, all chief ministers do their uh, fairly good job. Uh, I tell you, uh, even a two-minute uh, noodle 
takes about 10 minutes to really taste good. So it's not easy to comment on uh, what all. Having said that, yes, uh, co coming from um, education now, I will definitely um, uh, go for comprehensive primary education, no compromise primary education, and then primary health, and then greenery, of course. Urban greenery is just on the pictures now. It's not available anymore in the in the nature. And then uh, rural development uh, to be as much as uh, the urban development is, and it, it, it is possible only through decentralization of um, resources and all. See, if somebody is... Uh, uh, doing a good job as a student in Kakinada, or Rajamandri or uh, some uh, Tuni kind of a place. Eventually, his target is to go to Hyderabad. Uh, it's still okay. Okay, today they are two different states. But if he goes away to Karnataka for a good job, I am actually losing somebody who who's studied in my state for 20 long years. And I have lost him for what? He's going to buy a car there, uh, build a house there and uh, pay taxes there and, and what not. So how am I restricting that? In a very long term, a, a CM can be there and can go, but what he does should remain forever, like the metros and and the you know all all those long long term projects are what are very essential. So I look at them more closely than the um, than the easier ones. Easier ones are always there. Good one. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Satya, for joining in. Uh, good insights. I, I completely agree with you the way you responded about the CM thing. You know, we should look for resources. We should look for talent. We should look for opportunities within the state, within every city, so that they don't have to, you know, migrate out and you know uh, study somewhere and you know build the empire and you know pay taxes or develop some other state or some other city. So uh, I, I really like the way both of you are trying to empower people, empower you know teachers, empower uh, opportunities for people who want to teach. I, I see a lot of compliments coming in, still rolling in. Uh, Why is it? Uh, <laughs> that so makes from, my day. Yeah. Uh, Archana, uh, you know, we also have uh, you know Shrinikshar sir. Uh, so yeah, uh, look at those compliments. But yeah, thanks for this particular initiative, and uh, uh, most importantly, Vedit Math. I think uh, you should continue your efforts to sustain okay. this particular thing and you know globally it has a lot of value it's like yoga yes. which we yeah. you know yes. which we know which is born here but you know we it you know uh, only people out there in other countries really see the value in it and you know we feel it's like ghar ka khana you know yeah, there are more doctorates in uh, abroad um, than in india as far as yoga is concerned so we need to we need to catch up and do as much as possible time is running out <laughs> So thanks a lot, Satya. And friends, uh, do follow Satya. We will share the social handles and also the website of uh, the brand so that you can connect and, you know, uh, feel free to connect if you have any questions. Feel free to ask Satya if you need any help uh, where, you know, they can uh, check out, you know, help your kid or you if you want to get into uh, teaching a backers uh, to the community close by. So that's the only way. I mean, until unless we have great helping hands, we will not be able to, you know, scale up on these particular operations and, you know, uh, make it successful so all the best Satya and uh, uh, your wife uh, you know on this particular opportunity and uh, have a great day and thanks for you know being part of this particular work TV show wonderful it's a great opportunity uh, it was nice catching up for whatever time you have given us thank you so much and uh, I wish work a lot of success thank you a lot of reaching out to more and more people like us who are trying their small little might into the society thanks a lot Thank you. Thank you, friends. Have a great day. Bye.
Hello, I'm Neha, a senior course instructor at Aritis for Abacus and Vedic Maths. Also a proud parent whose daughter has completed all levels of Abacus and is now geared up to take up Vedic Maths. Aritis course curriculum is top notch with deep focus on all techniques. I have been supported and cheered on from the day I joined hands with Aritis. Despite being a full-time employee with an IT firm, Aritis has provided me the platform to rediscover my love for mathematics while I coach kids to discover theirs. Thank you. Hi, my name is Srinivas. I enrolled my son Abhiram in the Aritis Abacus course. I joined, he joined the course when he was 5 years old. So initially I thought it would be keeping occupied, occupied during the weekends, but I found out that uh, overall it has helped uh, him improve his creativity and also a very good exposure to him. He has uh, completed three levels, uh, two sub-junior levels and uh, the level one for seniors. Uh, he's completely undergoing the level two course. Even during the lockdown when all the uh, uh, courses, uh, classroom courses got uh, closed, uh, his teacher, Radhita Madam, took very special initiative and arranged for online classes for him. Overall, we are very happy to be part of the Arrayatis Experience.